What up, my friends? Thank you for joining us, and welcome to the 2018 FBU National Championship Tournament Draw Show. I'm Chad Ricardo, my esteemed co-host for the day, Mr. Steve Quinn, my main man, Eric Richards. Gentlemen, there can be but one true national championship tournament, and the FBU National Championship is that one. We're talking about 32 different teams spanning over three different grade levels for a total of 96 teams. That's well over 3,500 student athletes that represent in 23 states from around the United States of America. Dominant, powerhouse, juggernaut. All of these words are synonymous with the program here at Ocean Lakes. The Dolphins went undefeated last season and for the most part, they were unchallenged. Lockdown. Shut down, no fly zone, all terminology synonymous with the position of defensive back. Whether we're talking about Darrell Revis or Deion Primetime Sanders, the position requires extraordinary talent and extreme technique. The young man we're going to introduce you to today embodies both. This is Jalen Buck McCain, and this is his FBU moment. My man. What's up, Chad? Bro, thank you for coming out here with us today, man. Thanks for being here. What's the most important things to the mindset of a DB? Well, one is confidence. You always got to be confident. Absolutely. Because as a DB, you're going to get beat, mm -hmm. no matter what. My mindset is, I never think I'm going to get beat. There we go. <laughs> the thing I love about sports, football in particular, is that not only is it exciting, but it's an opportunity for student athletes. But now you've heard the story of Jamal Speaks. A young man who grabbed national headlines after he was told he was ineligible to participate as a student athlete here at Baloo, despite overcoming tremendous obstacles and going through the requisite process. It's been a long, it's been rough, like, it's been some bumps. It's been very challenging, you know, uh, like meeting a young man a year ago and, and you learn his story and know that he's been through a lot in the last few years. Um, to see him just grow as a young man in the last few months and uh, just do everything right, do everything you asked him to do. Now, Coach, I've spoken to you a lot about the past. I want to speak right now about this Howard program. This is a school that has a ton of historic relevance. Uh, the name comes with a certain sense of prominence. The football program as a whole have been champions. The reality, though, your predecessor finished with a record of 18 and 27. You've been down having won as of late. What are the first steps that yourself and your coaching staff will take to put a Mike London stamp on the program and get you all back to your winning ways? Well, obviously one of the biggest things is, is changing the culture. Don't make so. it to this point in your career without, of course, overcoming some obstacles. Uh, growing up in the game, not only were you a woman, but you're also a woman of color as well. What challenges did you have to overcome? What challenges did you have to face and how did you do so? Well, I never, if the, if the challenges were there and the mm -hmm. obstacles were there, I didn't really see them. I never felt like I was denied an opportunity to do something because I was a woman or because I was African American. Maybe, maybe, some, <laughs> maybe a boss made different choices because of that, but I didn't know that. Um, ESPN has always, I felt like, always afforded me the greatest of opportunities that I didn't even see for myself. It didn't start here though. What I wanna know is when you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? My dad always taught me if you put your mind to something, you can do it. Mm -hmm. And so as a kid, I started playing football at the age of like five. I always wanted to be an NFL player. I used to help him with his fantasy league football mm. and just love the game of football. You're obviously one of the top recruits in the nation, in my opinion, but at least on the East Coast. Did you ever imagine that you'd make it this far at this age? I mean, my determination as a kid was pretty pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, my dad always said, if you put your mind to something, you mm -hmm. can do it. And so I always knew I would accomplish my goals. Mm -hmm. but I didn't know it was going to be this quick really? as it came. And so some of it's paid off. Yes, sir. A lot more to go. <laughs> a lot more to go. <laughs> now I know you have a really close relationship with your father, with your mother. You got three siblings out there. What do those relationships mean to Blake, the young man? My family means the world to me, from my youngest sister, Rain, to mm -hmm. the middle star and Sky, to my mom and my dad. They mean the world to me. Eric Thomas, inspirational right. speaker, said, know your why. Yes. And they're my why. They pushed me to get up and go get it. Also, I know if I miss a day, there's others out there that are grinding. Absolutely. Just like me, trying to get the same, the same dream, Correct. the same focus. They're always there to lift me up. 
they always have my back. And without them, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be here. And they sacrificed so much, and my sisters, they sacrificed so much for me to be able to come here. And if you could take just a minute to say just a few words to those people, your mom, your dad, your sisters, what would those words be? I thank you guys. I love y'all. And it's going to pay off. My man, Blake. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Are you ready? In my community, and maybe you all can speak to this, we lived in apartments. We played baseball with a baseball bat and a tennis ball because if we hit a real ball, it might have broken a window. And I think that that's a lot of the issues. What you all are doing is helping, but can it really be turned around? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, the thing with what we're doing, our facility allows, we have three turf fields mm -hmm. and, you know, the doors are always open. It's a business just like everything else. We want them to last. Long they make jeopardy. tens of millions of dollars, right? Tens of tens millions. Of millions. I, do, do you go to work like uh, every day? Every day. Okay. They play 82 games a year? 82. Okay, it's I'm, 365 I'm days, days a year. year. Okay, I, I, just, I get that, I yeah, get that. I'm, I'm gonna leave it there so that we can get to some <laughs> right. other stuff, but we could debate this, uh, oh, you know, right. ad nauseum. Right, right, right. 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 My main man, Coach Sean Salzburg. Coach, we'll, we'll go ahead and get you started here, brother. Now, obviously, you, sir, are no stranger to talent. I mean, you had it yourself. You've had an NFL career. You've also spent time evaluating players who have done it at the absolute top level. For everybody out there who has questions, what, in your opinion, makes FBU camp different? We get a lot of reps, but we teach. On the last play of the game, you all had an opportunity to win it. Just talk to me about the atmosphere. Tell me about everything you saw. Well, the end of the game, we had a, uh, we had a little gadget set up. Student athlete spotlight, five-star recruit, Rock Kim Jarrett. Rock, you recently visited Alabama, Auburn, and Tennessee. I know a decision is pending, but this season, your SJC squad faces a grueling schedule. What are your expectations for you and for your squad? Uh, for myself, I'm just trying to like, have fun. My last season playing high school football, where it's like actual fun. I'm trying to turn up, make plays against some of the biggest teams. And as a team, I'm expecting to go undefeated. we got a tough schedule, but like, I just look at it as team by team, like, they're good and I'm good too, so I'm just trying to win. Young man has offers from just about every major college in the nation. Follow his page for the decision. Undefeated last season, but not only that, for the most part, you were unchallenged. Winning every game except for the championship game by at least 20 points. How is this team so dominant? If you could point to one factor that led you to signing with Golden Boy Promotions, what was it? Starting off 4-0 before having some injuries and poor play down the stretch led to them losing four of their last six games and finishing 6-4. and four. What do you feel as though you did either on the field or off the field that's really gotten the ball rolling for you? Ultimately, your expectations for this year. I mean, I'm thinking perhaps undefeated for Bullets this year. What do you think? I agree with you. Turn it up. Here we go. You are one of the top recruits in the entire nation. 33 offers you had. Talk to us about the recruiting process as a whole. Tell me about our elite athlete. Well, his name is Chaz IU. My name is Chad Ricardo, but that's not the only reason why I like him. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a shock look on my face. I mean, you're 6'3", 210. You got me feeling small out here. Now, you work extraordinarily hard both in the, during the season and in the offseason. Talk to me about how your work ethic helps you on the football field. You started last season but didn't finish it. From your perspective, why was that and how have you improved from there? But when we talk about this team, when we talk about this squad, we talk about heart, we talk about family, we talk about love. Here at Ocean Lakes, this is a program. The 2018 FBU National Championship. This is where the best of the best meet to compete. Yeah, Chad, FBU tournament is the one tournament where middle school talent can play the best talent their neighboring states and all across the country. No doubt. And then they're going to come down to the Paradise Coast, Naples, Florida, the sports capital of the world, and play for a national championship. Fellas, I tell you what, the 2018 FBU National Championship Draw Show, we're going to do it right here at Rutgers University, the home of the Scarlet Knights. Tune in, 7.30 p.m. September 23rd, FBU NC.